Hello everyone. Sorry I haven't been putting out any videos lately. So much has changed though so quickly since my last video that I've shot. Um, this is the traveling real estate agent. I realize I haven't been really sharing any of my trips so um, I figured this last one I would love to share with you. So I just did a quick trip to the gym. Now I'm back trying to shoot this for you guys. Latest trip. This video is going to be about the trip that I took last week, last week, last week to Pennsylvania and over to New Jersey. So I have been up there a couple of times actually. This latest trip was one of two, so I went last month. I didn't really do a lot of business while I was there, and so this next month that I went, um, I wanted to actually take a look at their market, see what they're doing, and also uh, talk to some agents that were there and look at some of those houses that they have up there. The first time that I went this year was in June, and I decided to fly there into New York, New Jersey. That is a completely different video in and of itself. I wish I would have recorded what that airport was like. It is a little bit confusing to get around. Um, but one thing I do like about the states up there is they have a lot of public transportation. I love being able to stay in places that I can get around just by taking uh, trains or buses and seeing everything that I want to see. And New Jersey, New York, as you're probably familiar with, are two of those places that I can do that with. I will say that if you do decide to go to New Jersey, you should definitely download their New Jersey Transit app. I'll show you here. I downloaded it on my phone, but whenever I got to the airport the first time, I had a little bit of herd mentality, so I ended up still stand, standing in line at the kiosk in the airport waiting to buy a ticket. But just so that you can see the app. So this is what the app looks like. And as you can see, you can do the, you can buy tickets, look at their departure vision, um, you can look at their bus schedules and their train schedules. It's really neat, super handy if you're not used to traveling around in a city like New Jersey. They don't really have a lot of signs there whenever you go to take the rail. Um, but even before you go, it'd be great to just kind of get an idea of where you need to go and the times and departure times. I'll give you an example. So as you can see down here at the bottom of my app, or maybe you can if you see the rider tools right here. You see rider tools and under there, I can see a trip planner. I can see different transit schedules and get alerts on when buses are coming, when trains are coming, when they're gonna be delayed. And just to show you another example, and just to show you an example of how you can travel to and from different places, I'm gonna do the trip planner option. And on the trip planner option, I can tell it where I want to go to and where I want to go from. So I did Princeton Junction and I'm going to go from Princeton Junction to Basking Ridge. Princeton Junction is closer to Princeton University, one of the Ivy League schools that is um, in New Jersey, central New Jersey. Basking Ridge is another area that have a ton of nice shopping, places to eat. Um, and if I do a trip planner, for tomorrow then it'll show me about how long it will take me to get there I'm not sure if you can see that very well but it also shows me how many transfers on the rail stations that I'm gonna take and then it also shows me which ship rail stations I'm going to transfer to and it also tells me how much I'm gonna pay I can also pay through the app and I can get New Jersey rewards as well. So the more that I use the app whenever I go up there, the uh, more that I get rewarded. And I can also connect my accounts, my bank accounts, all of that jazz. Um, super nifty. And it doesn't just have 
train stuff. It has shopping places, all of that that I can go to and that I can look at while I'm there. Um, but like I said, the time that I went in June, I was not thinking about using my app. So I stood at a, at a kiosk waiting behind other people, still bought a ticket. But before we talk about going um, into New Jersey, because the first trip I didn't do a lot of pictures um, and I didn't really check out any real estate, that one was just more of a fun trip to go up there. Um, the second time that I went, I actually drove up and I drove from Jacksonville, Florida up to New Jersey, up to central New Jersey. Usually if you're going to go up there, a lot of times the fastest way to get up there is going through Pennsylvania and Delaware and crossing over into New Jersey, um, unless you're going to be going into southern New Jersey. I will say too, just as a fair warning, if you are afraid of heights, if you're afraid of bridges, then beware of the Chesapeake Bridge. Look, look at your trip planner whenever you're mapping out your journey. The Chesapeake Bridge is probably one of the scariest bridges that we have here in the US, but it's super cool. Um, so when I was up there, I stopped in Philadelphia. Um, very first time that I've ever been to Philadelphia. I was meeting some people there, but I took a lift to meet them, and that was the most scary lift drive that I've ever had in my life. And I knew that uh, Philadelphia traffic can be super, super hectic, and I was determined to not go through that traffic again, so I left Jacksonville at 7 o'clock in the evening and made that trip up there. It's about a 14 hour drive to get up there, which is okay. Um, that Chesapeake Bay Bridge will definitely wake you up. It was really nice that I didn't have to deal with the weather because it is summer and it gets a little hot. Um, in my first day there, New Jersey had a heat advisory and the heat advisory was 93. And I thought to myself, if this is as hot as it gets, I can absolutely deal with this. For the most part, after that heat advisory, it stayed around in the 80s. Really cool, interesting thing. So I did get to go and stay in Philly and see a lot of the historical um, artifacts they have in there, like the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence. It is so cool to just be able to walk around in Philly a lot of fun it becomes a completely different place at night though uh, but I, I still loved it it was gorgeous and I just headed on over into New Jersey I stayed in Princeton it was beautiful For some of you who do not know New Jersey is actually a huge place for uh, biopharmaceutical for pharmaceutical companies and biotech companies and chemical companies, some of the largest that we have in the world, some really heavy hitters and big producers there. So just like people think about Silicon Valley, whenever there are lucrative jobs out there, the housing prices are going to be much more expensive, similar to central New Jersey, and you also have people commuting from the city to um, to Jersey as well. So there are quite a few people who work in the city, in New York City and in Manhattan, but come out and live in New Jersey. It is usually, for the most part, buying a single family house is a lot cheaper in New Jersey. For the most part, New Jersey is ranked number one note in property taxes. The tax, the tax rate on the tax rate on some of their properties, and it varies from city to city, but the tax rate on in some cities is you know, 3%, 3.6%. So if you are thinking about moving to New Jersey, check with your local municipality and your local tax commissioner's office that you're in the city that you're thinking about moving to so that you can see how much those taxes are going to be. 
there are some places like in Somerville, New Jersey, where they do cut your taxes in half, I believe it is, for the first three years that you um, are living there on a new built property. And then for the next 17 years, they only tax you at about 65%, which here in Jacksonville, where I live at, your tax bill is in the 3000s and 4000s. That is a very high tax bill. Up there, it is nothing for a tax bill to be over 10 or 11 or $12,000. They're very high. So if you're looking to finance a house out there, make sure you really, really, really work very closely with your lender because that is definitely going to affect your mortgage payment and make sure you're talking to the people at the tax office see how often are they assessing taxes is it just whenever something is sold in the area or when the house is sold there are some places like in princeton for example where they only assess taxes every so often so some houses just haven't been assessed in over 20 years another thing though too is the prices of the houses actually were not very different from what I see here in Jacksonville. The process, however, is completely different from how we conduct transactions here in Jacksonville and a lot of Northeast Florida um, specifically. So there, you go into what's called an attorney review first. And I'll also show you a picture of what their contract looks like they go into attorney review a lot of times first. That's whenever attorneys are looking at the contracts, they're making modifications to the standard contracts. That's huge, um, that is very, very different than what we do here. Here, whenever you see a house and you have your agent write up their contract and the offer, we just do a counter offer, maybe on the price or some of the uh, terms on dates and deadlines. Usually, don't do a ton of changes to the wording of the standard contract itself. Uh, but I actually think that's that's pretty, it's really a pretty good idea, especially since the areas up there. I've seen that they've had issues with things like oil tanks that are buried underground and causing contamination and pollution. So doing a lot of due diligence up front is 100% recommended. Another thing that I noticed was going to be very, 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 very different between uh, purchasing down here in Jacksonville and purchasing up in New Jersey, or at least central New Jersey where I got a chance to look around at, is things that they are looking for and what they focus on. So they have basements, which I think is actually pretty cool to add the extra living to have the extra living space myself but the um, they also test for radon but we do have it in our contracts here in Northeast Florida and in Jacksonville but it's a little bit more of a heavy focus up there it seems like radon remediation um, and radon is something that occurs naturally it occurs whenever uranium is broken down into the soil but it is a gas, it's, you cannot smell it, you cannot see it, but it can cause a lot of damage. Similar to here, our market slowed down just a little bit recently. Up there, it's looking like, like the same. Up there, it seems pretty similar, and after talking to some people up there um, that are very familiar with their market, it does seem like the market slowed down and shifted a little bit and became a little bit more in favor of buyers, uh, which is great if you're a buyer um, and people are having time to actually think about, do I want this house and you know, negotiate prices and negotiate terms. Um, I did notice that there are some people, even some builders kind of adjusting and playing with prices up there a little bit most amazing thing about New Jersey and the towns is that 
they have so much to do and so much is unique to some of these little small towns that are up there and the townships that are up there. It really is like whenever you think of New Jersey, a lot of times people think about the industrial side and um, newer and big business and all they do, do have really big chemical companies, biotech companies, pharmaceutical companies that are up there and around there. It is beautiful and they have really, really, really nice, well-kept nature, trails, all of that. It's gorgeous. So the Garden State for a reason, it's gorgeous. So 10 out of 10, recommend. And if you are interested in purchasing a house in New Jersey, I am not a licensed New Jersey real estate agent. That process does seem much more complicated um, than anything that we do here. I still even here, so recommend that you get a real estate agent um, to work on your behalf. But if you're in New Jersey and you're interested in purchasing a property, feel free to connect with me um, around central New Jersey, uh, in the Middlesex, Mercer, and Somerset area in Virgin counties. In the, I do have really great agents that I would not mind being in touch with. Um, they are amazing, super knowledgeable, um, and I think that they would be phenomenal in any buyer or seller. Uh, but that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to sharing a little bit more with you very soon.